Hello friends and welcome to the clubhouse. I'm so thankful that you're here. It's November and we have a brand new theme, thankful tree. We'll be learning that God is good and there is a lot we can thank him for. We'll be ce celebrating thankfulness all month long as we look at stories from the Bible that show us that God is good and we can thank him. I was just making this thankful tree for the clubhouse. I was thinking about some things that I'm thankful for and writing them on these leaves. God made so many good things, it's hard to choose. Hey, this week's Bible story is all about the good things God made. Let's watch it to get some ideas for our tree. But first, our countdown and a fun new song to sing. Are you ready to have some fun? Me too. Let's do this. Remember all you have and say thank you. 
love Ollie. Wow, it's from Ollie. Remember all you have and say thank you. Ollie gave us everything we need to make a thankful tree. We wrote what we're thankful for on these paper leaves and hang them up on this tree. I'm thankful for sunshine so I can play outside. I'm thankful for toys to play with. I'm thankful for coats, hats, and gloves to keep me warm. I'm thankful for so many things, I'm gonna need a lot of leaves. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? I see you found my fun gift for you. I sure did, Ollie. Thank you so much. I can't wait to make my thankful tree. Thankful trees are fun. It's true. God made so many good things for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis. What a beautiful day we're having. Oh, the sun is shining. The air is crisp. There's just so much to be thankful for, isn't there? <laughs> Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Oh, great. Okay, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins in the very beginning when God made a super amazing gift. Raise your hand if you like gifts. I do, I do, I do, I do. Oh, you do too? Oh, great. Okay, you can put your hands down. And when someone who loves you makes you a gift, oh, it's an even more special gift. Well. In the beginning, God made something really big and really amazing. Do you want to know what it is? Okay, say one, two, three, open pretty please. Ready? One, two, three, open pretty please. What's this? Yes, it's the earth. Now who made the earth? Do you know? <laughs> you got it. God made the earth for all of us to live on because God is good. Who is good? God is good. But that's not all he made. God also made this. Hmm, any guesses on what it could be? Hmm, let's open it. Okay, say one, two, three. Open pretty please. Ready? One, two, three, open pretty please. What's this? A flower, that's right. Oh, and sky, and grass, and trees and bushes, wow. Who made the flowers and sky and trees and grass? <laughs> you got it. God made the flowers and sky and trees and grass because God is good. Who is good? God is good. Oh, but that's not all he made. Hmm, God also made this little thing. Any guesses on what it could be? Let's open it and see. Okay, say it with me. One, two, three. Open pretty please. What's this? Yes, this is an orange. Who made oranges? Oh, you got it. God made yummy oranges for us to eat because God is good. Who is good? God is good. Oh, but that's not all he made. Mm -mm. Whoa, this one is jumping. Uh, any guesses on what it could be? Hmm, let's open it and see. Say it with me. One, two, three, open pretty please. What's this? 
<laughs> yes, this is a frog. And raccoons, and butterflies, and deer, and squirrels, and oh wow, even Mr. Bear. <laughs> Who made all these animals? You got it. God made animals because God is good. Who is good? God is good. <laughs> the Bible teaches us that God made the whole world and everything in it. Everywhere we look, we see good gifts that God made because God is, say it with me, good. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God is good. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. God made the whole world and the good things in it. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I never thought about how God made everything I'm thankful for. I'm gonna wrap my leaves right now and hang them up so I don't forget. I'm thankful for flowers, sunshine, and my puppy. I'll see y'all next time. To the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107 1. Welcome back to the Clubhouse, friends. Wow, God is good, and the Bible teaches us that God made the whole world and everything in it. Everywhere we look, we see the gifts that God made. Tell me, friends, who is good? Right, God is good. Let's pray and thank God for being so good to us. Fold your hands and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you for all the good things you made, like beautiful flowers and puffy clouds, sunshine and friends. We know you made these good things because you are good. Thank you for loving us and being so good. In Jesus' name, amen. Great job, friends. This month, you're gonna make your very own thankful tree at home that looks like this. Look for this and an activity to go with today's Bible story in your C3 Kids November box. Bye, friends. See you next time.